Good morning, what's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a ski out towards Crab Island and we're gonna take you to one of the best burger spots in the Destin Harbor. As you guys can see, there's not a breath of wind today. Forecast is supposed to be nice all day long. Can't wait to get out there. Stay tuned. All right guys, so before we take off, I just figured I'd show you the normal process. So got all my, my hat to keep the sun off me. This is a collapsible chair. Uh, it's a knockoff of the Click brand, but just as good and about half the price. Uh, and then we got our life jackets in here as well. Um, I did already check the battery because I've had those terminals come loose on me a couple of times. So I wanted to check that to make sure that that was good. And we had a good solid connection. Uh, last week, this cooler actually ended up falling off because we forgot to hit the latch on it. So I made sure the cooler was good this morning. Um, and then just a quick little update. I did rewire the whole trailer because I was having issues with my lights back here on the back of the trailer. So we rewired the whole thing. Uh, now we got these lights working again. Um, I also did just have the jet pump uh, totally rebuilt on this ski along with some uh, spark plugs as well as an oil change. So this is a brand new ski right there at like 153 hours. So just routine maintenance because we do ride this thing quite a bit. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Getting ready to head out and go gas up the ski. Pulling out of Juana's Pagodas, got the line of skis behind us on our way to Spectre Island. All right guys, so I did want to touch on Spectre Island. This is the biggest island we are currently passing and you're gonna see us come up on a bunch of boats. This is where a lot of the boats like to hang out and camp for the weekend. Um, we do get a lot of sideways looks coming through here though, um, as we're going through here pretty quick and these other boats are anchored up. Um, there's a bunch of ways you could handle that, but technically this is not a no wake zone, so we don't have to slow down. Um, I guess it could be a common courtesy thing to do that. I think we did slow down from 70 down to 30 when we went through there, um, but still people are upset. So just something to be aware of. All right guys, so I wanted to stop and show you the swing set. This is new um, since last year. They just installed this and I think this over here is like a bird bath. Uh, this is right behind the, the biggest island of Spectre. So the second island you hit coming from Herbert Field or coming from Navarre, uh, you'll see the swing set set up over here. Can't miss it. Guys, it's a beautiful day. Hardly a breath of wind at all. Gigi's loving the swing. This right here is my buddy, Bill. He's going on 60 and riding a supercharged RXPX. And as you can see, he's getting after it. I hope to be like that when I'm 60 years old. All right, so now we're making our way to the end of what we call Spectre Island. We like riding on the inside of the island opposite of the channel markers because at the end of this there is a very small um, outlet to get back into the channel uh, and it's pretty cool because there's a sailboat that has run aground back here um, so we always like cutting through here you do have to stay up on plane though because the water does get very shallow especially the further you go to the right um, so if you stay up on plane you can make it through here with no problems and you should be seeing uh, that sailboat over here on our left here shortly guys kind of funny but this is what we're talking about back here in uh, Spectre Island it gets shallow real fast so they got pretty well stuck back there in uh, shallow water and he was doing like 30 miles an hour so by the time he realized how shallow it was he couldn't stop here we are again at the Brooks Bridge on this side you have Fort Walton 
and on this side you have Okaloosa Island. Again, the first gas station you guys pass for fuel on the water is gonna be right here at the Adventure Marina. It's kind of right there at the base of the bridge. Um, and then right now they're doing construction to make this bridge bigger. Uh, I think it's gonna go up to four lanes or something like that. So we're getting ready to pass the Gulf. Uh, I talked about that in one of my last videos. Uh, they have really good drinks and food there. Uh, and it's also the first bathroom you pass on the way to Crab Island. So we just um, stopped right here at the Gulf. As you can see, there's no wind today, but we stopped here so that G could use the restroom. Gulf is one of our favorite places. They just installed some volleyball courts too, so that's pretty new. I like this place because it's made out of shipping containers, so I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, awesome place to stop. And then like I said, the fuel point is right below that bridge right there, Brooks Bridge, if you need gas. Uh, the next fuel up point isn't until you get to Destin. Um, we are heading that way. It's a beautiful day. All right guys, just like last time, we got Crab Island right here. That's the Destin Harbor. Right here is the Coast Guard station, so make sure you're paying attention because all of this is a no-wake zone. We're making our way to the buoys right there. That's where all the jet skis normally hang out because it's the shallowest part of Crab Island. So we're gonna hang out there for a while before we go grab those burgers I was talking to you guys about. So we did end up sitting here on Crab Island for quite some time. As you guys can see, the water was beautiful and super shallow where we're parked right now. Keep in mind to look for that Emerald Coast Jet Ski Syndicate flag and that's how you're gonna find all of us. We did end up leaving after a little while though because the wind kicked up and we made our way into the Destin Harbor. Heads up. This is in the Destin Harbor. This is called Norega Point. This is where everybody comes to get out of the wind. Right across from the Destin Harbor Walk. And the burger spot we're taking you guys to is just right over here. I'm gonna stay tuned to see that. Keep in mind, this is Norega Point. It's where everybody hangs out to get out of the wind. Boats as far as you can see. Same jet ski ramp where you can get fuel and park your skis. As always, these guys continue to give us problems and tell us you gotta pay to park here. I've been doing this for two years and never had to pay to do it. So don't let them talk you into having to pay 140 bucks because you don't have to do it. Anyways, once you park your ski here, you go up this ladder, come down this walkway, and East Pass is literally just right here. Again, I showed you guys last year that you keep walking down this walkway on Sunday and it'll take you to Harry T's. Right here is East Pass. These are the best burgers in the Destin Harbor. I'll show you guys once we get up there. This is the best burgers by far in the harbor. Uh, I just recorded a video of the menu and I'll show you guys what the burgers look like as soon as they come out. All right guys, so we just finished at East Pass. Like I said, best burgers in the harbor. What'd you think? That was pretty good, yes. Yeah, so they're actually so good that we got two of them because we killed the first one so fast. So we're getting ready to hop on the ski and head and make our way back to Navarre. What do you think? You gonna hang out more or are we headed back? I'm ready to go home. Looks like we're going home. So we'll see you guys there, y'all. Getting ready to pull out of here. On our way back to Juana's. This water clarity has been insane all day long. Very fortunate that the military brought me to a place where most people vacation. If not for that, I don't know if I ever would have found this place. We just passed the Gulf and currently going under Brooks Bridge. We got about a 35 minute push back to Juana's Pagodas out in Navarre, where a majority of us launch from. A couple members will peel off at Herbert Field though, cause they put their jet skis in the water at the marina right there on base. So they have a little bit shorter ride than we do. Hey guys, what's up? I'm in the middle of editing this video from the past weekend. Um, and I wanted to kind of put to bed some of the issues we've been having with the Harbor Walk Marina's uh, jet ski ramps that are right out in front of their building. Um, so I've been parking there for two years and all of a sudden, as of late, it seems like it's been a headache every single time we park there. And depending upon which manager is working, you can either park there or you can't and each one of them say something different. Um, so this has been my experience. I've been told that I have to pay 140 bucks to park there or that I have to reserve it the night prior um or that i'm good to park there so long as there's still these slips for the transients who paid to be there um but at this point in time i did end up catching a manager on camera saying what the proper process was to use these jet ski ramps 
But long story short, what he said is that um, so long as the slips that have been paid for are still available, we're good to park there so long as we're not there all day. Um, they do have gas, but um, for those of you who ride skis that are tuned or require 93, they don't have 93 gas. So you're gonna have to look for gas elsewhere. So we really just use this as a place where we go to um, check out the restaurants right there in the Harbor Walk, um, which is why it's kind of become a headache um, because there's not very much jet ski parking in there as is. So if you're trying to go get a bite to eat or a drink or something of that nature, um, this has been a growing problem. So I kind of wanted to take a moment to put this to bed so we all know what the proper process is. So hopefully it'll reduce the headache. Hey, how you doing? My name is David. I'm one of the managers here at Harbor Walk Marina. Um, these jet ski docks out here are typically our transient jet ski docks, but we also have boats like Destin Fire and other random people come and just fill up or come hang out and come grab a drink or anything like that. We typically don't mind. It's not an issue at all. The only thing is, is that if we've got transients here, um, we just got to make sure that they have a spot for them. And you said you had three today, right? We have three. Yeah, there you have it right from the horse's mouth. You're good to park there so long as you're not taking up a transient slip. Just wanted to clear the air on that. 